CNEV News reported the developments after interviewing a CATL spokesperson. As for the new sodium ion battery, CATL was one of the first manufacturers to present its own SIB in mid-2021. The first generation had an energy density of 160 WH slash kg, but CATL was already aiming for 200 WH slash kg at the time. By comparison, lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolytes deliver around 350 WH slash kg max. Sodium is more readily available than lithium. It is also inexpensive, safe, and easy to dispose of or recycle. The challenge is compensating for the comparatively lower energy density and transferring the technology into industrially utilizable and scalable cells. This is why CATL is also developing a so-called AB battery in parallel, which combines sodium and lithium-ion cells. The main challenge here is battery management. The article does not mention when the first AB or pure sodium-ion batteries will be used in cars. Although the media expected CATL cells to be installed in electric vehicles in 2023, there have been no reports since. However, CATL has confirmed Cherry as the first manufacturer to use its sodium ion batteries, albeit without further details. As for the other news, CNEV Post reports that CATL has talked with about a dozen OEMs for a license royalty service LRS, cooperation model. The company spokesperson explained that under the LRS partnership model, CATL provides technology licensing and plant construction and operation services. This was to help global OEMs and even the company's peers quickly master battery production capabilities, CNEV cites the spokesperson. One of the first companies to benefit from the model is Ford, which is reportedly building an LFP cell plant in the U.S. state of Michigan with support from CATL. As reported earlier this year, similar plans appear to be made with General Motors. Both deals benefit from and forego the rules laid down in the Inflation Reduction Act IRA. While it effectively excludes Chinese manufacturers from the subsidized U.S. market, licensing has developed into an important business segment, CATL CEO Robin Zhang recently told the press. His company supplies the factory equipment and the production technology and trains the staff. Still, the license holder is the sole owner of the battery factory on paper, even if nothing works without CATL input. As CATL does not hold any shares in the factory, the company has to invest significantly less, instead receiving income from the license fees for patent usage and service fees. As reported, CATL also intends to produce pure solid-state batteries in small quantities for the first time in 2027. Hello and welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for subscribing us. We provide the most recent and updated news about electric mobility every day. We're thrilled to introduce three unique membership levels on our channel, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers its own set of exclusive perks and content, perfectly suited for your passion for electric vehicles. As a member, you'll play a vital role in supporting our mission to deliver 12 engaging video updates daily about the latest in the electric vehicle world. Your membership not only helps sustain our efforts but also brings you closer to the heart of the EV community. CATL, a prominent Chinese power battery manufacturer, has engaged in discussions with approximately 12 automakers regarding technology licensing partnerships, aiming to reinforce its leading position in the global power battery market. Through the license royalty service LRS Air Model, CATL offers technology licensing, along with plant construction and operation services, to expedite the acquisition of battery production capabilities by global OEMs. This collaborative approach benefits both parties, with automakers gaining access to advanced technology while CATL expands its revenue streams and global footprint. CATL's technology licensing extends even to competitors, facilitating broader consumer access to advanced battery solutions. Notably, CATL serves as a key supplier to electric vehicle EV, manufacturers such as Tesla and NIO, holding the title of the world's largest producer of power batteries. Its significant market share and expansive production capacity highlight its dominance in the industry. In the realm of emerging battery technologies, CATL is actively exploring solid-state batteries and sodium-ion batteries. 
With ambitious goals for solid-state battery production by 2027, the company underscores its commitment to innovation and industry leadership. Additionally, CATL is pioneering condensed batteries with energy densities of up to 500 WH kg, offering a blend of high energy density and safety for various applications, including electric airplanes and EVs. Despite the declining cost advantage of sodium-ion batteries due to falling lithium carbonate prices, CATL remains optimistic about their potential. By developing second-generation sodium-ion batteries and integrating them with lithium-ion batteries in innovative battery pack solutions, CATL aims to leverage the unique strengths of each technology to address diverse market needs effectively. CATL's strategic investments in next-generation battery technologies reflect its dedication to advancing the global transition to clean energy solutions. As the company continues to push the boundaries of innovation, it seeks to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of the automotive industry and contributing to sustainable energy development worldwide. Thanks for watching.